Welcome to the Bluecoat computer-based training module using policy to manage SSL traffic on the Proxy SG. This course includes the following topics. Why it's useful to intercept SSL traffic. A description of the two main policy actions, tunneling versus intercepting SSL traffic. And the primary policy layers that are used to manage SSL traffic. By intercepting SSL traffic, you can scan SSL encrypted traffic for viruses, worms, and trojans, and stop them at the gateway. Eliminate the SSL blind spot, gaining visibility and control over SSL encrypted traffic. Stop rogue applications, such as IM and P2P, that use SSL to subvert enterprise controls and security measures. Prevent spyware from installing or communicating over SSL. Halt secured phishing and farming attacks that use SSL to hide from IT controls or to increase the appearance of authenticity. And take a granular approach to proxying SSL for applications of different trust levels and privacy concerns. Either pass through, verify then pass through, or proxy with full visibility and control. With a client configured for transparent proxy connection, the proxy SG listens on port 443 for the incoming traffic, which is then handed to the HTTPS proxy service and passed to the SSL proxy. When the client uses an explicit proxy connection, the traffic arrives on port 8080, which causes it to be intercepted by a listener on the explicit HTTP proxy service. By default, the explicit HTTP proxy service uses the HTTP proxy so if nothing else were done to the incoming traffic, it would not be processed by the SSL proxy and would not be decrypted. To change this, use the detect protocol setting in the configuration for the explicit HTTP proxy service. When this setting is enabled, the proxy SG identifies the HTTPS traffic and directs it to the SSL proxy for decryption and processing. There are three methods of handling SSL traffic coming through the proxy SG. Tunnel, do not intercept. In this method, in explicit mode, you are blind to what's going on with the traffic. There is no certificate validation. In transparent mode, the certificate may be validated because the SSL proxy becomes invoked. Decrypt and deny. Certificate validation takes place and policy can be applied. Deny, no interception. The traffic is blocked with no SSL interception. SSL interception and access rules, including server certificate validation, are configured through policy, whether using the VPM or CPL. You can use the SSL intercept layer to configure SSL interception. Use the SSL access layer to control other aspects of SSL communication, such as server certificate validation and SSL versions. Now, as an example, We'll create an SSL intercept layer that intercepts social networking traffic. This example assumes that you have previously configured a key ring on the proxy SG. In the management console, launch the VPN. Create an SSL intercept layer with the following properties. Destination, request URL category, social networking. Action, enable SSL interception. In the Add SSL Interception Object dialog box, check Enable HTTPS Interception. And in the Issuer Keyring section, select the appropriate keyring for this proxy SG. Install the policy. Close and relaunch your web browser and access Facebook.com. Now to confirm that interception is taking place, go to Statistics, Sessions, Active Sessions, Proxied Sessions, and click Show. The protocol is identified as HTTPS forward, 
which confirms that the traffic is being intercepted. Thank you for watching. This concludes the using policy to manage SSL traffic on the Proxy SG training. For more information on policy related topics, visit the following Bluecoat resources the knowledge base at bto.bluecoat.com, and the customer discussion forums, available at forums.bluecoat.com. For additional questions or comments regarding this training module, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.